Hey everyone, and welcome or welcome back to my black screen series. This is episode 39 of 52. Well, that leaves 12 episodes. 12 weeks of the year left. Um, if anyone has actually listened to every episode right through, I thank you. But, uh, I don't think that's happened. Not judging by the views anyway. I mean, every video seems, every episode seems to get a, a view. Or more. Just looking at the views here at the moment and uh, the last episode's only got one view. The episode before that's got four. And then the episode before that's got 141. So, yeah, it's all over the place with the views. I don't know what's going on. Some people click on it, I guess, and just realise it's just me rambling on and it's boring and they don't want to listen. And they bugger off. And that's fine. But anyway, for those of you who are interested in what's happening and following this series, um, it's only been a few days since my last up, upload and I was stopped by rain working on the cyber truck since then um, it's just stopped raining probably about 10 minutes ago on a Sunday afternoon it's nearly one o'clock it'll be well after one by the time I upload this uh, so I've got uh, a fair bit to go still on the cyber truck. Uh, I've got I'm doing the dashboards at the moment, so I, I can't glue them because of the weather. It's too wet. I'm worried about the glue not holding because of the moisture in the air and on the on them and themselves. So I'm gonna wait till it dries out before I glue. But I'm shaping them which is just a little extra bonus bit in this wet weather. That's the only thing I can really do with them. There's probably other little things I can move on and do, but we'll worry about that later. Um, so tomorrow's Monday, and my mate that uh, agreed to help me work on the Cybertruck has had his um, young fellow with him the last couple of weeks so he said once his young fella goes back which should be I'm guessing today maybe tomorrow I don't know um, but yeah then he'll be free so tomorrow would be the earliest that he'd be free but there is a bit more rain forecast for tomorrow so it's probably not a good day to start work uh, Tuesday sounds like a good day so hopefully he's on board for Tuesday. If not, I can get into stuff myself. There's still things I can do. Uh, what else has been happening? Not a lot, really. Um, the dogs are doing well. They've been great in this weather. Actually great, like, fantastic. Um... Luke likes going outside. He doesn't mind getting a little bit wet. If it's, you know, if it's rainy outside and the ground's wet, he doesn't mind. Um, Leia and Missy aren't so keen, especially Leia. It's really weird because she's the one water baby that, that's, you know, she'll jump in the pool when it's freezing cold. Not even on a warm day, you know, she'll just jump in a freezing cold pool, go for a swim. Um, but yeah, as far as walking around in, the, in rainy weather and wet ground and all that, she doesn't like it. So she's quick to come back inside, especially if I'm inside. Um, so I've been hanging inside. She's snoring at the moment. I've been hanging inside um, a fair bit the last few days because of the weather. Uh, it's been boring, 
Dump a bit of vacuum in. Um, collected a bag of rubbish out of the inside of a van. Um, yeah, discovered that I'm getting moisture on my mattress somehow. I don't know where. It, it could be capillary action going on. We're moist just from the constant moisture. And because of the body heat and warm air from us breathing and all that sort of thing, you know, having me and the three dogs in here, it could be just, you know, moisture running down the walls um, and then wet in the mattress. But I don't know, it doesn't seem to be a lot of that. Not enough. There seems to be more moisture on the mattress than warrants, you know, that then, then it is explainable just by that. So I'm, I'm wondering if um, there's some capillary action happening where the water's hitting part of the floor, the floor's getting wet in certain areas, and then that's soaking up into the mattress. So it's either that or there's leaks that are coming through somewhere in the walls and going through and hitting the frame at the bottom where the floor is and then meeting the floor running on across the floor and then wet in the mattress so i'm not sure what's happening yet <coughs> i've got to wait for the weather to dry right up i'll pull my mattress out and i'll study what's going on hopefully i can work it out and rectify it but yeah um like i'm glad the rain stopped when it did because there was even a couple of spots i knelt on my mattress in a couple of, a couple of times um, and I've got a wet knee in different spots. And I'm like, what's going on there? Did the dog pee? And then I bent down, smelt it. Didn't smell like dog pee. I've got a tissue and pressed on it. It's water. You know, so, yeah, so that spun me out. I thought, oh, no, if it keeps raining like this, my whole mattress will end up soaked. And then I had mould issues. So, anyway... Hopefully in the next day or so, it'll be dry enough for me to stick it out in the sun and dry it right out. And at the same time, I'll be figuring out what the hell's going on with this, how it's getting wet in the first place. So, don't know if it's a new thing or if it's been going on for a while. I know up towards the back where the dogs are, occasionally um, under really bad weather, weather comes through where I've put the brake light in. I've taped that up recently, so I don't know if that helps. <coughs> but the weird thing about that is that it's actually on the upper level and it's outside of the camper, the brake light. Um, you know, even if water ran down the inside of that wall, it shouldn't go into the van. It should go outside the van still. Um, yeah, there's stuff there that can get wet, but anyway. Um, so yeah, that, I haven't really had much issues with the rain and moisture and the van getting wet. But yeah, there obviously there's something going on at the moment. Oh, so, what else do I talk about? Not a lot. Pretty boring episode, eh, Lukey boy? Look, he's tired. Oh, look, the sun's out, kids. Rain stopped, sun's out. I might actually upload this and uh, see if I can get out there. And... You're right there, Leo, having a big snore. See if I can get out there and have a bit of a play with the Cybertruck. Get working on the dashboards again. I won't be able to glue today. It's just not going to be dry enough. Um, even though it's stopped raining and the sun's out, um, everything has got moisture in it that I'm going to be using. So the, the foam mats, they feel wet, tacky almost, you know, so they need to dry out. Um, the plywood that the dashboards are made out of, actually feel 
wet. So they haven't been rained on, it's just the moisture in the air and they've been outside, so um they were inside the cyber truck while it was raining heavily. And I had the roof on the cyber truck and a bit of ply covering the um vault area, the ute area. yeah anyway i'm um i'm thinking this is sounding like a boring episode so i'm gonna end it <laughs> i got actually made a bit of room deleting some stuff and i've got the room to record longer but i just don't have anything entertaining or intelligible for you guys to be listening to nothing but boring sorry my vacuum cleaner is great, I'll say that. I'll give it a little plug now. I don't know what the brand is. It's got nothing written on it. That's so cool though. It's like a little, it's shaped like a little gun. And it's got a little nozzle that comes out. You can take the nozzle off and put a little brush attachment on. Uh, but yeah, so far I've just used, just been using the nozzle. Um, it's got a tiny little, it works like a cyclone vacuum cleaner so it doesn't have bags it has like this filter and everything spins to the outside keeping the filter clean until it's blocked up of course but yeah then you just um, separate the two parts pull the filter out give it a tap into a bin and empty the um, other part into the bin and then if you really want to you can fuss over the filter a little bit tap 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 in it or giving it a bit a bit more of a clean but half the time i just give it a quick tap and chuck it back in again as long as there's not stuff falling all over the place and it, it seems to work just fine again it fills back up again pretty quick so it's working and there's another filter it came with two filters so i'm not even on the second filter yet but it only cost me i think around 20 bucks maybe less I can't remember. I got it online and it was only... It was really cheap. Uh, what else can I update you guys on? Batteries on the Cybertruck are being used on the camper. Um, well, there's two batteries on the Cybertruck for the 12 volt system. And of course, the, the camper uses a 12 volt system, and my battery died probably six months or more ago. The one that I'd had for like six, seven years, it died, and um, it was a 100 amp hour, I think. Um, cost me 300 bucks all, that, all those years ago. But yeah, so these cost me. They're only 18 amp hour, there's two of them, and they cost me, I think, just under 120 bucks each. About 118, I think they were. Yeah. Um, and they're great. They, um, they're uh, a, a gel battery. So it's like a lead acid battery, but it's a gel, it's a sealed lead acid battery it's like a, yeah it's a gel version of a lead acid battery so you can you can put them upside down they don't leak uh you can mount them sideways flat upright upside down doesn't matter apparently um so yeah i just keep them upright <laughs> I, that, that just makes sense to use them upright the terminals on the top where i can access them easy and they take up less space because they're shaped that way so that they're tall um, so yeah I can fit one or two in the front of the cyber truck there's one always mounted now uh, and it's wired into the cyber trucks 12 volt system that it's well the limited part of it that I've made so far um, so that's basically a isolation switch 70 amp two big six pin that, that can double so you can have 12 ports 12 leads coming out of them one each side 
Um, oh, and plus there's an extra big um, bolt style pin on the far end of it that's not used so that can continue to another bus bar or whatever you want heavy duty power wise. So yeah, two bus bars, a positive and a negative. And then we've got a voltage meter hooked straight up to the battery uh, that's always on. It doesn't draw much power. And it's it's a digital LED, it lights up. Then there's the um, little USB port that I've wired in as well. It's not mounted, it's just sitting there, but I can plug in um, two USB leads and charge something you know while i'm out there working on the cyber truck rather than just having to charge inside the camper uh, i'm noticing that i'm needing to charge one of the batteries every second day it's usually the one in the site in the camper so what i'm thinking of doing is cycling that battery back into the cyber truck and bringing the one from the cyber truck into the camper so that they both get equal use otherwise the one that's getting used all the time in the camper is going to get more use well obviously when the cyber truck gets on the road it's all going to balance out because the cyber truck's going to get used the cyber truck batteries are going to get used during the daytime and um and they'll probably still need they'll need charging then every second night so i'm guessing i'll be charging both batteries every second night once the cyber truck's on the road in a few weeks time hopefully fingers crossed so anyway, enough of that, enough prattling on about the Cybertruck for now, guys. Um, I uh, appreciate you listening, if you've made it through to the end. Uh, there's only, you only have to put up with this 12 more times, <laughs> and we're done for the year. I'll think of something stupid to continue on afterwards, and something for next year. Maybe... Maybe the black screen, maybe the black screen series next year could be more, well, could be less of a black screen series. Could be me talking to the camera. I need to work on that for my Cybertruck channel. This is my main channel, um, or my personal channel. I shouldn't call it my main channel. I should call it my personal channel because that's what it is. Um, Maybe the Cybertruck channel might become the main channel. It might take off and this channel might get left alone a bit because I might be busy posting on that all the time once the Cybertruck gets popular and I've got lots of subs on that. But we'll see what happens. Anyway, guys, love yous. Um, appreciate yous listening. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, really appreciate the likes and the comments. I don't get them, but I don't care. It doesn't matter. I still put this stuff out anyway. And like I said, it's more for me than you guys. It's more like I'm leaving, leaving a legacy too, you know. Like once I'm dead, in 20 years' time, maybe this stuff will be listened to by someone, some random person, maybe a descendant, um, you know, some relative that I don't know about, um, someone that was looking for me for years and finally found me but found that when they found me I was already gone and they were too late and then they discovered that oh he's got a YouTube channel and they start checking out and learning all about me and are fascinated by it all I don't know it's weird you know like you, the internet and, and this platform particularly YouTube can allow you to do this sort of stuff you know um, there's been people that have documented their deaths on YouTube um, because they know that they knew that they were terminal from something and they put the whole thing on YouTube. Um, what's and all. Sometimes they're pretty videos that are really emotional and seem to get lots of views because of the way they've edited it and put music to it and that sort of stuff. But yeah. Um, yeah, some real heart-grabbing ones, <laughs> emotion, you know, ones that will make you cry. But um, all in all, it's just a, a great platform for people to do this sort of thing. You don't, you know, you don't have to have fame. You don't have to be making money. You don't have to be, um, you don't have to have a, a monetized channel. You don't even have to have a single subscriber to put content out like this. Um, and you then 
and like I'm showing, this is almost a full year of just me talking without you looking at me. Yes, you can see me in other videos on this channel, but if someone wanted to be, you know, someone was camera shy, this is perfect. You can do a black screen series like this, and you could do daily uploads like this where you can just talk. You can put, you can be filming your dog or your fireplace while you're talking or you know what I mean I, there's so many uh, you just walk to the park and just film the park or something birds at the park who cares it, it doesn't really matter what people are looking at if you're talking and that's the whole idea of this black screen series there's nothing to see it's, it's all me and my voice and <laughs> might, might be annoying to you and you might click off dislike throw a comment like God, what was I listening to that shit for? But it doesn't matter. It's my shit. And thanks if you do enjoy it. Thanks if you are learning from it. And uh, I'll catch you in the next episode. See you guys. Have a lovely week. I'm caught up. I'm caught up now, by the way. Episodes are on track again.